shows them how we do things downtown. charges. Big rift, right over there. Overheating. Need to cool my pack. Out. I can't believe that actually worked. All wrapped up, ready to trap. Got the ghost. Now tackle those remaining rifts so he can't come back. Take that. Ghosts surround us every day. It's just that most aren't strong enough for their presence to be felt by the living. Uh, okay. Nothing to see here. Just your standard ectoplasmic exorcism. Oh, relieved to hear it. <laughs> All good. Just had a moment. 
It's here! Probably nothing. Probably. Okay. Fire! Don't be silly. It's fine. Right. But it'll take more than that to really scare me. Here. How's it going out there? Ah! Clear the area, folks. <laughs> oh Think this has any value? around us every day. It's are just that most are strong because enough sure for their am. presence to be felt by the living. What? Was that meant to help? I was scared for no reason. Want to know if everything's fine? I I'm not gonna lie to you. Okay, take care now. Uh, thanks. I was scared for no reason. You call that scary?
It's here! Ghost captured, rift closed, you'll love to see it. Oh. Welcome back. I'm glad you're here. Uh, take a seat or stand, make yourself comfortable. What I have to show you is of the utmost importance and can't wait a second longer. You see before you perhaps the most prodigious discovery known to the metaphysical science community. Look familiar? It's the first, and I mean very first, edition of Tobin's Spirit Guide. The holy grail of supernatural encyclopedia. I finally tracked this down a week ago, and it just arrived. I had to overnight it from... <laughs> it's best you don't know. Now, I can't deny that my possession of such an extraordinary artifact does naturally provoke questions as to how and where I got it. Uh, it's no secret that Tobin is a hero of mine. Throughout Ghostbusters operations, the Spirit Guide has been our de facto resource. Even now, over a hundred years since its first publication, it remains the most respected compendium in the paranormal investigative medium. No other researcher, metaphysician, or common raving supernatural obsessed maniac has gone to the lengths that Tobin did to chronicle that which is not of this world. Although some might say, given his sordid later life, perhaps he went too far. Like Tobin, I too fell down a rabbit hole at a young age. This mildewed tome has been my elusive golden goose, my singular vice and obsession. I paid a great deal of money Winston's money, to some questionable individuals who have scoured the farthest reaches and risked countless perils to find it. It turns out it was right under Tobin's nose all along, literally. It was found in his coffin, resting on his now concave chest. John Horace Tobin had his spirit guide buried with him. Here, a keepsake from your first occult book acquisition. Never forget this moment, kid. It's a big one. You there! Yes, you, ghosty. Tremble in trepidation, for before you I stand, the magnanimous purveyor of the paranormal, leading scholar on the supernatural, once known in another dimension long ago as John Horace Tobin. I have shed my mortal coil and appear to you now, lost spirit, as the gatekeeper between the world of the living and what lies beyond. Behold! Behold! Oh, bugger. Give us a sec. There we are! Today is not your finest day, ghosty, but it is your luckiest. Prithee, look to me from here as your guide to what exists beyond existence. Fear not the eternal darkness, 
for I shall light the lamppost which illuminates your passage. Follow the interminal horizon of the shadow... First, you need to find your footing. A figure of speech, of course, because as you've probably noticed, you haven't got any feet. <laughs> Get a feel for floating about. Well done, ghosty. Say, are you a quick learner or have you been dead before? Well, never mind it. See the giant schism in the sky over there? That is a rift. Once you enter, you'll be transported to your very first haunt. So, make haste! Welcome to my garden of otherworldly delights! A job's a job and yours is to terrorize and torment. So, get in and let's get cracking. A bevy of charms and abilities reside at your disposal with which you may scare and wreak havoc. Conserve if you can, Ghosty, for your psychokinetic energy is a precious commodity. You must cool down periodically, or your powers will not work, including your ectovision. A Ghosty's most important resource is psychokinetic energy. Use it wisely. It'll take a bit of time to get the old juices flowing again once you've run out, so be mindful of draining your energy. Keep one eye on your meter, then you won't get caught on a full moon with your knickers down. Savvy? of cowardice. Behold! All around you is a world of possessibility. Use every object you can to duck, dodge, and wait for the perfect opportunity to spring your spectral trap on the unsuspecting living. If one of those egregious ghost hunters is nearby, possess an object to hide. While your energy recharges inside a possessable object, be wary. Your recharge rate will suffer if you move the object why don't you try possessing something now? One of the more invigorating features in your cabinet of curiosities is the ability to phase. You'll be flying at high speeds from one end of the map to the other before you can... Respawning from glyphs is key, so pay attention. If a ruddy ghostbuster gets you by the gills while a rift is active, you will respawn at the rift. However, this destroys the damn thing from further use. There are three rifts available to you hidden inside our so act accordingly. Those bastards will try to eliminate these rifts, limiting your methods of escape. Fear not. You can retrieve and hide these rifts throughout the map to send your opponents into a light tizzy. A full location haunting starts with teeny tiny baby steps. Try individually haunting different rooms to increase your power allowing for faster energy regeneration. Civvies and busters alike are easily scared in these predicaments, and if you see a floating brolly, that's because objects in these rooms begin haunting themselves, in turn creating a diversion, allowing you, Ghosty, 
too high. You can actively haunt objects too, but why waste the energy, I say? Alright, alright, enough preamble. Let's get to the good stuff. Horrification. As an otherworldly, albeit temporary spirit, you are denied so many earthly pleasures. Therefore, we must fill the void with other oh. exquisite delights. That's right. <laughs> Scaring the pants of anything that moves. Buy it and let me know how it goes.
Defense is a strong offense, or is it the other way around? Either way, these next two tricks will be sure to send more than a shock up the trap. Warren, face to face. Whereas you and I love ectoplasm and everything to do with it, the living can't stand it. Literally, cover them with enough, and they won't be able to stand at all. This is officially. St uh -huh. Okay, everything around here gives me the creeps. I cease disgusting. Oh no! What's this? You've become ensnared by the power of the dreaded electric lasso. Then you must fight your way out. Use your ability if you see no other option. But I counsel you to flee. Beware their tethers will create great resistance, so fight! Fight, damn you, against the fool, and you will exasperate the tether and urge if. God forbid you are pulled into the final ghost trap field. It's curtains for you. Almost. You will have a brief moment to try and free yourself, but no, you have painted a target on your back side. Scream out! Let's do this! It will be hard to break free from. Now, ghost. Should you, despite all the maneuverings, be seized in the final fatal capture, find your way back to me, so that I might imbue you with the power to haunt once more.